apartment residents held a demonstration today to try and save their homes. Tenants at the Via Carlotta apartment complex join together while hugging the building and chanting. Residents are upset they are being forced to move out and make a way for a luxury hotel. I feel terrible. To me, this is, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. I am happy in my apartment. There's no good reason why we should be evicted. Charter school students and the Coalition for Economic Survival members attended the protest as well. The tenants' eviction notice expires today. But several Via Carlotta tenants are planning to fight the eviction. They say they want to continue living in the building they've grown to love. It sucks. <laughs> Sylvie Shane has lived in this Hollywood apartment complex for seven years. I fell in love with the building and the community. I had a friend who lived here. The building has a rich history and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It was built back in 1926 by Arthur E. Harvey for the stars of old Hollywood. But when new owners took over in August of last year, things started to change. Back there, there was like an old school bar and, and barbecue. It was just it had life. And that's unfortunately gone. CDI Strategies now owns the building. They decided to change it from an apartment complex to a hotel. They gave the tenants eviction notices on the 22nd of December. If they're not out by tomorrow, they'll be given formal eviction papers. And it's all legal in California. The Ellis Act gives landlords the right to evict all tenants if the complex is going out of business. That it's a hotel makes it unusual. But conversion apartments to other uses, like condominiums, is becoming increasingly common. ATVN reached out to CDI strategies, but no one was available to comment. One tenant feels that they have been treated unfairly. So in the time that they've moved in, we've seen all the, will, the many of the windows of the building be boarded up. On top of that, the elevator in the building was out for almost two weeks, and we have elderly tenants in here who require the elevator to get up and down from their apartments. They want the tenants to become so unhappy and exasperated with their lives in the apartment that they just want to leave. Shane says they have tried to speak with city leaders, but they haven't listened. Our streets were paved just the other day here on, uh, on either side of the building, and they were fine. They really didn't need repaving. I just think that there's the wrong focus. There's a housing crisis, an affordable housing crisis happening in Los Angeles. While some residents are passionate about staying, others have already left. People are only living in 11 of the 50 units in the building.